Gamers, it's me, Ruby J. Today we're going to be talking about Super Mario Odyssey. Works every time. Mario has been a video game superstar since 1981. His first appearance was in Donkey Kong and his most recent was in Super Mario Odyssey. And when the franchise was first started, the characters looked a lot different. Let's check out more on what they got right with the Super Mario Odyssey characters. Princess Peach can't be in a Bowser boss fight. We're talking Mario, this is what they got right. Wahoo! One of the best characters of Mario Odyssey is Mario's new hat, Cappy. But when Nintendo was making the first Mario game, they almost didn't give him a hat at all. He wasn't even supposed to have a mustache either. What would that have even looked like? <laughs> Ew, gross, 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 gross. If that wasn't nightmare fuel, I don't know what is. Speaking of Mario, for years he's been a plumber. But originally, Nintendo considered making him a carpenter. And even though he didn't get that carpenter gig, throughout the Mario series, he's been able to keep busy as a go-kart racer, tennis player, party planner, doctor, boxing referee, artist, and dozens of other jobs. Come on, Mario. Way to make me feel like a slacker. Did you know Mario's name wasn't even supposed to be Mario? For a little while, his name was Jumpman. But the Nintendo America team changed the name to Mario because their landlord, a guy named Mario, supposedly looked just like the character. Mario isn't the only Mario character that used to have a different name. Bowser used to be called the Sorcerer King, and he wasn't always a giant turtle. In early drawings, he was a big ox, which would have made boss fights a little bit different. This version of Bowser can't breathe fireballs, but he can give you a really bad case of saddle rash. Even Peach's name wasn't always Princess Peach. In old Mario games, she used to be called Princess Toadstool. And if you thought that was a weird name, you should see what she was going to look like. Ugh. I wonder what Princess Mushroom Head and No Hat Mario's prom picture would look like. Ew, 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 ew! Double gross! Thank goodness they went with the Princess Peach. That's just a bit sweeter. Of all the weird things about the Mario character, this next one is the craziest. Mario wasn't even supposed to be in the first Mario game. The main character was supposed to be Popeye. I know, my mind is blown too. Hmm. If Popeye was in the first Mario game, maybe we would have even gotten a Super Popeye Odyssey. Super Popeye Odyssey probably wouldn't have had Peach, Bowser, or Cappy. But it would have made up for it with every kid's favorite power snack. Spinach? No! Thank goodness they went with Mario instead. Coming up with all these great Mario characters took a long time, but thanks to the hard work of everyone in Nintendo, now we have some of the most iconic characters in all the video games. Hats off to ya! Thanks for watching What They Got Right. What series should I give you the inside scoop on next? Let me know below with a comment. Then click up there to subscribe to DreamWorks TV for new videos every single day. Until next time, woohoo! Thank <laughs> you.